Hi, Tim Sells here with another episode of Straight Talk, and this is number 12. Today, I'm going to be talking about Dan, and uh, he makes a comment having to do with the freedom in network marketing or lack thereof, and uh, we're going to discuss this, okay? So I'm going to roll this clip and let you hear it. Freedom, yes, right? What is so free about? You got to move certain amount of products, go to meetings every You got to mode of f***ing meeting, drag people to hotel, drag people to home party. What's so free about it? We have no friends left. Like yeah. uh, it, the whole thing about. Okay. Um, so what he basically is talking about here is, is that what's so free about moving a certain amount of product? First of all, let me just go ahead and hit that one dead on. Um, the lowest common denominator is zero when there are no standards, when there are no requirements. All right, that's what people uh, fall to. Uh, how much, uh, you know, how much exercise will somebody do? Oh, well, whatever they think, you know, like is the minimum amount that they have to do in order to get to whatever it is. And so there has to be a standard. Also, how does a company determine whether or not to give you products at wholesale or retail? Well, there's got to be some quantity. The other thing is, is that sometimes the company says that if you don't do anything, if you don't sell a certain amount of products in a given month or week or some t time period, then your team rolls up. Okay, so that's a minimum standard. And so the company has that standard to know. And you might have to go six months or something like that without ordering something in order for that to roll up. But there's just these things in the compensation plan. And so that's the reason that you would have a minimum standard. Now, Sometimes um, that you you have standards sometimes that that you might not know or other people who are outside the industry, uh, even though he claims to be an expert on network marketing, there's sometimes there's there's quotients or quotas in there that uh, you may not know why. OK, and so I tend to always like find out why, you know, why is that requirement? You know, what's what what behavior is that driving? Um, okay, and so he also says going to meetings, driving people to hotel, uh, drive people to home party, right? Well, first of all, before I say what I really want to say on this, why is this valuable? Um, it was interesting because I just saw a research study and it was, you know, like thousands and thousands of hours that Microsoft evaluated all of its management all of its employees and was trying to basically crunch these numbers and figure out what was the very best time spent, uh, what was the optimum amount of work hours, uh, like various different things. And one of them that caught my eye had to do with leaders. And the worst thing were all the were all the meetings where they just discuss and strategize and stuff like that. But the leaders' meetings where they set one-on-one -on -one with someone and created a plan, that was the most productive time spent across everything at, at Microsoft. And uh, so when you go to a meeting and you're with other people, there's so much more in the communication than a video right? Uh, it can be personalized. And so there's a lot of value in meetings. And so I'm not going to undermine any of these. But I do feel as though that the way he's commenting, I can tell the time frame in his life, like how many years ago, he was looking or he was in network marketing because uh, most of the network marketing industry has moved on uh, and doing other things. Uh, for an example, are Zoom meetings, and I do them a lot, all the time. It's not a lot of interruption in my life. I don't have to leave. Uh, I can just turn it on. If somebody doesn't show up, then you know I don't hear the, the bell when they join the meeting. And uh, so I just continue on my day, right? So that uh, that's the reason that I do it. You see, back here where Dan's talking about uh, all these different meetings and things like that, uh, that, that's not a requirement. The only requirement is, is that somebody's got to see something, right? Every business has the same thing. Somebody's got to see the jeans before they buy them, right? Or they've got to see some kind of a presentation before they're going to vote on a particular candidate. You know, it's like it, it's got to happen. And so that's all that needs to happen is some sort of presentation. Maybe it's a video, but I find 
these very good. I can be in Bulgaria uh, and that guy be, you know, uh, somewhere else. You see what I'm saying? In other words, it's so simple because of our ability just to have a window with somebody else. And I do that about 98% of the time. The other time is, is that I want to be with them, okay? Especially to celebrate some victory that they've had. Um, I like to, uh, to get together with people because it creates a bonding experience when you're there. You're somebody who's real, right? It's a handshake. There's a whole lot more in communication when you're with a person. So um, he's, uh, he's trashing on meetings and... Um, I don't know why he is, because it appears to me that Dan believes in meetings. Okay, if you, uh, if you look all across here, you can see that uh, he, he does a lot of meetings. And so, uh, so it's kind of humorous to me that he's cutting down us doing meetings where he does meetings. But, uh, but I'm not cutting him for doing meetings because I know that they're powerful. They're, they're good. You, you get to meet the people who are beside you and all kinds of things. And so comment down below. Tell me what you think about this video. Tell me what you think about Dan uh, cutting it down, but then be doing it. And then also let me know uh, what you feel in terms of what do you get extra out of going to a meeting as opposed to a Zoom or just a video. Thanks. I'll see you in the next video.